Well, good evening, everyone. Uh, it's Wrenching with Grandpa. It's Sunday evening. It's been kind of a long weekend. Been trying to get some things done this weekend. Yesterday, we had a beautiful day, and uh, today was eh, not really that great. But between multiple uh, runs to the parts store and actually helping out, uh, because they were short-staffed, I've learned a great deal more about part bins and where I can find the stuff I need at my local Advanced Auto Parts store. Thank you to Jamie, the manager. She has been a huge help in this uh, restoration project, and uh, I know everybody's facing uh, these issues with short staff and blah, blah, and, you know, I was glad to help out. I got to meet some new people. Hopefully, uh, they'll uh, come on board and, uh, you know, help us with the channel. And, uh, you know, building a good community, let's help each other. I mean, we're all in this together, right? So, anyway, oh, man. Let's see. We got the new hoses on. We got thermostat, the housing. Uh... <laughs> actually found a hose for that which was like a godsend because it's like so weird uh i uh, got the alternator put back in and uh, i think i got all the wires hooked up right i hope let's see here alternator new belts fan pulley water Fuel lines all hooked back up correctly. At least I hooked them in the only place they seem to go. The only thing I've got left to do is A. I went back with flex hoses. A. They were available and probably more period correct. But the molded uh, hoses that were on it were like I couldn't find them. I mean, not locally, and I'm not going to search all over everywhere for them. This is what we used back in the day. They worked on everything. So, it worked there. Uh, it's kind of working down here. If I can get some light adjustment here. Hooked up down there. The issue I'm having, and it's not really a big issue as it were, where this hose hooks into the lower water pump outlet. I've got to get it up in the right position so that it all fits up correctly. Uh, it's a matter of a little determination, a good clamp, and maybe some zip ties. You know, just to kind of get it up in the right place and all that. But we got the water pump all strapped back in. Uh, all I got to do is get that lower radiator hose tied up, get coolant in it, put the battery back in it, and hope I haven't broken something else in the process. With that in mind, we're hoping to get this bad girl fired up and down to Jerry's in the coming week. So please stay tuned. As you know, if you've been following this at all, this isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. But she's worth it, and I'm loving it. And I hope you guys are too. If you've got any questions or uh, comments, please chime in. I'm open for suggestions, comments. Hey, this is a project I'm learning a lot about. These cars, I love them. They're, you know, the American dream. This is what people drove and bought and what we built back in the day when we really built some really good cars. So stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Tell your friends. I'm new. I'm a... I'm an old guy that's just trying to make this old girl sing again and would like to bring you along on the journey. So thanks for watching again. We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.